Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain to you the daily raid boss in Bunicorn. Here's a rundown on how the daily raid boss works in Bunicorn game. Every day between 11 am and 1 pm UTC, 5 raid bosses will emerge on your screen. To participate in the daily raid boss, you must spend a fixed amount of ticket fee. The ticket can be paid using off-chain per only. And the ticket costs vary depending on the boss rank. For boss 1, it will require 900 per per boss, boss 2 requires 1500 per. Tier 3 or boss 3 requires 2500 per, per boss. Tier 4 or boss 4 will require 4000 per per boss. And lastly, tier 5 or boss 5 requires 6500 per. You must remember that the ticket is valid for one day only. You may need to pay a ticket fee again on the next day or after the boss is defeated. Please also take note that these ticket fees are subject to change. You may find out your tier by clicking on the link in the description box below. Here's a guide on how to determine your tier. First, click on the link below. Download and open the file. Your trainer and Bunicorn initial power references will show up here. Just type in your trainer's level and Bunicorn multipliers basing on the references above, then press enter. Your team power and tier number will show up here. I hope this helps to determine the tier your team belongs to. Now that you've determined your tier number, please understand that you cannot participate to other tier if you have not met the requirements or have exceeded the requirements needed for other tier. For example, if you have a level 10 trainer and 3 1 star, your total raw power is less than 5240 based on the calculation. You cannot participate in tier 2, because tier 2 requires more than 5240 to 11000 raw power to be eligible. The same applies to tier 3, tier 4, and tier 5. And these higher tiers cannot go down because their power exceeds the requirement on tier 2 and tier 1. Other players can participate in other tiers if they have extra trainers and bunicorns, however, the stamina is limited to only 800. This prevents higher level players from ruling the tiers. The downside is that, existing whales can easily create multiple accounts and bombard these low tiers with different trainers and bunicorns. For the reward system in the current raid boss, please remember that a portion of reward burr will be returned to all top 10 players. And all accumulated rewards during the entire event are paid using bunny. However, these rewards cannot be withdrawn as a token. But they can be exchanged for ancient NFTs that can be used for staking to earn more bunny tokens. You must collect at least more than 500 to 10k bunny rewards during the event to obtain various NFTs. Finally, please take note that if the boss in each tier is not defeated, a portion of the reward will be transferred or will be added to the next boss. Example, if tier 1 boss is not defeated on day 1, half of the reward in tier 1 will be transferred to the next boss on day 2. Based on my understanding, the rewards accumulates every time the boss is not defeated, resulting to a higher rewards. That's all I can explain about the daily raid boss. Thank you for listening.